hey y'all it's rosie and in this video i'm going to show you how i make my smothered ribs i know i like to smother almost everything so why not ribs right let me show you how i do this so i'm going to be using pork ribs but if you don't eat pork you can use beef ribs okay let's start off by removing the membrane off the ribs i always have a hard time doing this but i get it done okay so let's remove that and then we're going to trim all the excess fat off the ribs because we don't need it then i'm going to take those kitchen shears and i'm going to cut it like rib by rib okay if that makes any sense i just want them in single ribs okay because if i serve this at a family gathering in a slab there's gonna be some greedy folks and they're gonna go in so yeah rib by rib so anyway this is what it looks like once everything's all nice and cut then i'm going to place it in a big bowl and i'm going to start to season these things okay i'm using some kosher salt some black pepper and you know what I'm actually going to use some thyme as well. Now, if you think of any other seasonings that you want to add to your ribs, by all means do so, but this is going to work for me for this recipe, okay? So now I'm going to use my hands to make sure everything is nicely coated. Then we're going to toss our ribs in the crock pot. My crock pot is a six quart. At least this one is, because I have so many crock pots. However, I think I could have fit this in a smaller crock pot. So once it's all in there, I'm going to set this to the side and now I'm going to work on our homemade onion and garlic gravy. That sounds good, right? It is. Now, you're going to need some vegetable oil. You're going to get it nice and hot. Then you're going to slowly start adding in some all-purpose flour. You want to make sure you whisk everything until it's nice and well combined. And eventually it's going to look like this, okay? So now I'm going to start pouring in either some chicken broth or water. Now, broth is better. Okay, I didn't have any on hand, so that means I'm going to have to add more seasonings later on. But if you use a broth, it's all nice and seasoned. You won't have to add much later on. So everything is in there. I'm going to bring it to a full boil. And once it is at a full boil, I'll see how thick the gravy is. And this works for me. If it doesn't work for you, you can add more flour, okay, to thicken it up. So since I use water, I'm going to add some spices in there, salt, pepper, some other things. And now I'm going to load this gravy up with some finely minced onion and fresh garlic okay so whisk everything until it's well combined look at that and now we're going to pour all that gravy over the ribs now if you're not following me on instagram make sure you are doing so or go ahead and do so i should say because i'm always showing sneak peeks okay as a matter of fact i actually shared this on instagram weeks prior to uploading so anyway we cooked it on high for four hours in our slow cooker and then I just dished it out, placed it in this platter, and baby, I headed out the door because I had a family gathering to go to, and they love this. Now, don't forget the exact measurements can be found on my blog, iHeartRecipes.com.